Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Day 15 of my Tease the Season series is a super rainy and chilly day. And I'm getting a late start, so I'm already tucked into a cup of Adagio Tea's Honey Bush Blueberry Pancake. That was the tea behind door number 15. And uh, I have already raved about this tea earlier this year. If you've not already seen that video, I'm gonna go ahead and point you in that direction, but my opinion of this tea has not changed. I still really love it. I bought myself a big bag of this one, but I don't find myself reaching for it that often. Just whenever I do, I'm always really happy when I drink it. And I'm feeling a little bit festive and like I really need to be cozy today, so I'm wearing this ridiculous Christmas sweater with cat pictures on Christmas ornaments. I feel like I feel like Jan would appreciate this one, but since I am almost already done, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go grab day number 15 for tea and me and I'm gonna cross my fingers that it's caffeinated. Day 15. Oh nice. Oh very nice. We have some ceremonial grade matcha from Arteo. Arteo. Probably our T.O. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably turn it into a latte because I'm basic. And here is my matcha latte, I guess. I just made it cold. So for me, this one is just sort of solidly okay. And I think part of it has to do with how I prepared it. This one seems like matcha for beginners, <laughs> the flavor of it. It's not overly complex. I think that there's a lot of natural sweetness in this one and I think it tastes pretty like springtime grassy. Uh, certainly you could drink it straight, but I think this one lends itself to being turned into like a sweetened latte. That's basically how I'm drinking most of my matcha. And that's basically all I have to say about that. All right, but I'll check in with you later. We've got Call Me Sweetie today. All right, time for another Call Me Sweetie blend. Ooh, I, I have a good feeling about this one. So we are gonna be sipping, well, I guess when I say we, I really just mean me. <laughs> Today, I am sipping. Just feels a lot less inclusive. We're sipping Fireside Reeds. We're sipping Fireside Reeds. Okay, this is, this is a, okay, this is a really weird. Let me, let me see this real quick. I think it's a I think it's a play on Earl Grey, um, but <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to tell you what it is quite yet. Maybe after I get Stephen and he gets distracted. Didn't I just have my glass mug like not too long ago? I just I don't know what I keep doing with it. I feel like that is the perfect symbol for like my mental state or my life right now. Whew. All right, so call me sweetie. Fireside, Fireside Reeds? This is basically a cinnamon apple Earl Grey. And I feel like one of the things that I keep saying about the Call Me Sweetie apple flavored blends is like I can't taste the apple, but I can taste the apple in this one. So I'm really excited. I went into the skeptical just because I haven't been able to taste the apple flavor in the Call Me Sweetie blends yet. And I also wasn't really sure how Earl Grey would pair with cinnamon and apple. I've never seen that flavor combination before, but for me, it works. This feels inspired by hot apple cider that's been garnished with cinnamon sticks and orange. It's just, it's lovely. I always love an Earl Grey or an interpretation on an Earl Grey. I'm wondering if you are the same way. If you love Earl Grey, let me know what your favorite Earl Grey blends are or like what your favorite twist on an Earl Grey is in the comment box below. I'd love to, I'd love to try them out. I definitely love, I definitely love Earl Grey. So those are a constant in my tea collection. So yeah, there was a little bit of a costume change. Oliver and I have been running around the house chasing each other and I got a little bit warm in my, <laughs> in my uh, Christmas cat sweater, so off it came. I am about to sip the last tea of the day. Of course, it comes from Plum Deluxe as usual. And today we are sipping the Darling Blend, which is a blend of honey bush, rose hips, cocoa nibs, rose petals, and chocolate essence. And this one says, it is celebrating motherly figures in every sip. Of course, me being a mother, I am totally thrilled to dive into this cup of tea. 
I'm gonna go steep it up. I want to love this blend more than what I do. I think this one has the potential to taste like a Turkish delight, which I absolutely adore, but it just misses the mark just the slightest bit. This is mostly a rose flavored honey bush tea. The chocolate flavor coming from the cocoa nibs and the chocolate flavoring doesn't really surface in this one. I feel like this one could have been elevated if they had blended in some cocoa shells or cocoa husks to kind of give it that creamy milk chocolate sensation and flavor that I associate with a Turkish delight. I mean, maybe they weren't even trying to go for that flavor profile. I'm just making assumptions. I just, I would like it better if it tasted more like a Turkish delight. And I think in order to achieve that, cocoa husks would be perfect. Of course, I could probably just add in my own cocoa husks. But pleasant, but a pleasant tea nonetheless. I mean, I love rose and teas. Uh, it's always a treat. And that brings us to the end of this video. As usual, let me know what you're drinking today, whether you're doing an advent calendar or you're just sipping from your own stash. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.